and welcome to another video where we'll be exploring another aspect of Pico CSS and this time it's grid layout. Now, to create a grid layout in Pico, it's pretty easy actually. All you need to do is just wrap your divs inside a div with a class called grid and you're done. You don't have to even take care of the responsiveness. It will automatically take care of that. Now, if I go ahead and show you this in action. So here you can see all these four divs are coming up one after the other. And if I go ahead and increase these numbers so from four, let's make it eight. So I'll just change these numbers. And now we have around eight columns. Let's see how it appears. And there you go. It will automatically adjust. Now, if I go ahead and open up the developer console and here I toggle this to view this in, let's say, iPhone 12 Pro. This is going to look something like this. You can see all these divs are now coming one below the other. And as soon as I change the width of this, like if I go ahead with 14 Pro Max, and then if I change it to, let's say, iPad Air, and then again with iPad Pro, you'll notice how these are automatically accommodating themselves based on the screen size. So that was grid layout in Pico CSS. At times you might feel like you're not doing anything and still achieving the desired result. And that's the beauty of Pico CSS, keeping things straightforward, simple, and yet functional.